Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and welcome to my review of the Spec Products Shield View for the iPad. Now this is a thin film screen protector and it will protect your iPad screen from scratches and smudges. It's also anti-glare with a matte finish so it should cut down on reflections a little bit. And in the pack you get two screen protectors, it's going to cost you £17 in the UK, $24.95 in the US. So let's just crack this open and I'm going to actually show you me applying one of these to the iPad and hopefully I will get it done first time. Just on the back of the pack there I'll show you, you've got some instructions, they're telling you to um, polish the screen first, then line it up and peel off as you apply it and then squeeze the bubbles out as you go and then number four should have an absolutely superb fit and finish to your iPad screen. Now this is the pack, let's pop those instructions to one side. Inside here we have the two shield views, so you do get two, so that's really nice. So I've got a spare one there for use later on in the year perhaps. And then this one here is in a protective plastic bag, let's remove that. Now they've got a number one here, so this is the first protective sheet I'm going to remove. And then on this side, once it's applied, this is number two, so I'll remove that once it's applied and I'm happy that there's no bubbles. So I'm going to pop that to one side. They also include a polishing cloth. They don't include a little squeegee or anything, so I'm going to use one of my own ones. I also use one of these, a little blower, which is well worth having. And it's also worth having some sellotape. You'll, you might see why in a minute, but if you do get the odd bit of uh, dust, then it's worth having something sticky just to pick that dust off. And I'm also going to be using my little squeegee just to push it down. You don't get one of these in the pack. So, I've already got a uh, screen cover on the iPad. Uh, which I put on when I purchased it. So I'm going to remove this very carefully first and hopefully get a very minimal amount of dust on there. So let's do that. So that's the old screen protector removed. Now I'm just going to check for dust. So we've actually got no dust on there, so that's looking pretty good. And then I'm going to do this one, which is, we're going to start from this end, so I'm going to turn that round, and we're going to start removing number one. So it's good that you do keep some on because it gives you a nice way of positioning. So I'm going to get this nicely lined up along the bottom edge. That's looking good. There we go, so that's lined up nicely. And then I'm going to, as we go, I'm going to squeeze these bubbles out. So a lot trickier than doing this on an iPhone. And if I see a bubble, you just pick up again where you were just to get rid of the bubble. And here we've got a couple more there. Just need helping out. It would have been nice actually if they'd have included a um, squeegee with this but unfortunately they don't so a nice wide squeegee would have done the job so as we go we're just squeezing these bubbles out I'm actually gonna put that down and use my fingers for a minute so all the bubbles are coming out nicely as we go just hoping I got the alignment right that'd be a bonus more bubbles there so just ease it back push the bubbles out on there and we're almost there the more evenly you do this the better you're gonna get on with it so just at the end there we've got a few bubbles coming so we're just gonna pick up we go out towards this corner 
That looks like a very good application. So this is all in place now. Just got this last corner to go. Normally the trickiest bit, just getting that corner to sit down nicely. Got a little bit of lift up there, which is annoying, but there's not a lot you can do about that once we're on. We've got it really well lined up. So a couple of bubbles in this corner, just squeeze them out. And it's best to try and get as many of the bubbles out before you remove this top protective film. So we're looking good there. Just this bit here won't seem to adhere. So that's all right. We could pick this back up. We've also got a tiny little bit of dust there, but that's not too bad. And then once we're happy with that, we just peel off the top protective layer. That has caused a few more bubbles in this top corner. Just try and get those out. So we've got bubbles appearing as we're taking it off, which isn't too good. Um, and that's where this top protective layer is actually lifting up the bottom one. So not too happy with that. But as we go across, we will try and get rid of those. So we've ended up with, and this is this top layer being too sticky really. We've ended up with some bubbles in there, so let's just get rid of those with the cloth. We can sort of push those out towards the edges and eventually they will go. There we go. And again, just a few there. So it's possible to get rid of them, you just got to ease them out towards the edge without pushing too hard because you don't want to obviously damage your screen. So let's just concentrate on these. So I've got a few more there. Just ease them out with my nail on the cloth. There we go, the ones in the middle there, I'm actually tempted to pick this back up. Let's pick this back up and do it how I do it under normal circumstances. There we go. Get that one out. The trouble with picking it back up is sometimes you do get fingerprint on the underside of it, but that has gone pretty well. So that's got rid of all those bubbles that are in the middle. And then we've got a few more bubbles on this top edge. They actually look like dust. And this is where a little bit of sellotape comes in. So we get a little loop of sellotape. What we're going to do, where we've got little dust particles, is we're going to get this corner up. And where we got those little bits of dust, we just take those off with the sellotape. And then we push that back down. We've still got, no, that's a little bubble. There we go. So that's all of the bits of dust out. So we're on to a perfect application there. Just get my squeegee again. One little bubble left. So a little bit of manipulating gets rid of all the bubbles. There we go, that one's gone. So that is the, took a little bit longer than I thought, so sorry you had to endure that, but that is the uh, shield view on. And I think it looks absolutely brilliant. Uh, the fact you've got a, a slightly sort of matte finish to it uh, means that you've got less glare. But the actual iPad in use, very responsive, no difference to the screen. It's actually nicer than a gloss screen protector because the fact that it's matte, it makes your finger slide across it a lot nicer. 
So I think that improves the feel of the screen, doesn't decrease the visibility at all. Very impressed with that. So this was my review of the Spec Shield View. Uh, sorry it took so long for me to put it on, but, I, but this is the sort of problems that people will face when buying these products. So I think it was good that you saw that I got some dust under there and bubbles. Um, and with a little bit of patience, some careful application, you can put this on and it really does make your iPad, uh, I think, nicer to use. I'm loving the fact that it's silky smooth to scroll around the iPad screen. So this is the Shield View from Spec Products and it's going to cost you £17 in the UK for a two pack. So you get two Shield Views in the pack or $24.95 in the US. If you want to follow me on Twitter, get all my latest updates, then search for Geekanoise on your Twitter client. And also, please do keep coming back to the Geekanoise channel for more video reviews. This video review is sponsored by EasyDraw, making drawing fun on Mac OS X.